Hello, everyone, and welcome to an overcast and gray day at the Sunstrom Field as the Cardinals host the Anoka Tornadoes. Joe Young, Howie Shapiro behind home plate. And Howie, a tough task ahead of the Cardinals, a very strong Anoka club. Yeah, you know, this is an Anoka club that uh, I believe, what, nine out of their last ten games they've won. Um, they're they're eleven and four on the season. Cardinals are struggling. They're struggling to hit the ball. Um, I know they're they're going through a number of pitchers, and so this is an opportunity for C against a pretty good team to see if they can get right. Look at the batting order for Anoka. Sam Poser, the second baseman, will lead things off, followed by Reagan Reader. Will Check is in the hole with Lewis Hurtling, the pitcher, hitting cleanup. Evan Frecking, Mason Hoheisel, Logan Jungling, Fred Hubner, and Sawyer Chell round out the order. And on the mound for the, the Cardinals, Jaden Kopp hasn't had a lot of innings, just one so far this season. But I would imagine uh, the Cardinals are looking for some fresh arms, looking for, you know, rest some guys at times, and Kopp's going to get the start. Normally such a great uh, force behind the plate, defensively for sure, and obviously a pretty good hitter. He'll be in the lineup hitting, but uh, that puts him on the mound. Well, we know he's got an arm from what he has yeah. done, throwing out a couple of runners the last broadcast we did over at Wintercrest Park. Cardinals, though, have lost seven in a row. Interestingly enough, as we see the first pitch down in the zone, 1-0. The one team to beat Anoka over the last 10 is the last team the Cardinals beat, yes. Tatino Grace. But talking to Coach Bright, he said, you know, it's just their their hitting has been tough to get going. Yeah. When they when they score runs, they win games. But they have seven games this season with just one run on the board. Sam Poser, the leadoff hitter for Anoka, hitting 270 on the season. But yeah, I mean, and this is an opportunity here. They, they've got to get the bats going. And typically, you know, Coon Rapids can hit the ball, and they're just not doing so far yet this season. Get me over the plate changeup for strike one on three and oh, Poser taking all the way is Cop working quickly, but having trouble locating the zone, gets one down at the knees right there to get back to a full count. Yeah, big strike there, because now you put your, your batter at the point where you've got you've to do something unless the pitch isn't there. Just and out the outside edge and a leadoff walk. That, does, that pitch didn't miss by too much. But yes, the Cardinals' uh, offense has struggled. Uh, defense has had its moments as well throughout the season. But uh, some guys later in the season getting some fresh looks. Caden Elfin getting the start at second base. Uh, started last game against Blaine, went three for three. And they're hoping that uh, he can continue that hot start hitting in the number nine spot tonight. Reagan Reeder digs in and looks at a called strike going one. Reader hitting uh, 353, also a pretty good basketball player. Well, a number of multi-sport athletes yep. in the Anoka lineup. Breaking pitch was outside, one and one. Able to put that one over though and get back ahead in the count. I'm sure Coach Mossy looking to see if he can get a number of positive innings from Cop on the mound here this afternoon. Poser, a conservative lead. It's a foul ball. Well, no, they're saying it's a pass ball. Oh, it is, oh, it is I strike he said foul. three. Okay. It's strike three. The batter is out because there was a runner at first base. Right. But Poser will move over to second base. I thought he said foul, but. I thought he got a piece of it. No, nope, just nope. off the tip off the of the glove of yep. Bryce Karen, who obviously hasn't had a lot of time behind the plate because nope. Jaden Kopp has uh, been in that spot for the last two seasons, and he's done a nice job. We'll check hitting 354 on the season. Pretty good average so far here for his high school season. Another pitch down in the zone. Good stop by Kieran. 2-0. and oh. 
And again, Cop behind in the count. Misses inside, 3-0. and oh. Second time he's gone to a 3-0 and oh count in three batters. And that's ball four. Strikeout in between two walks to start the inning. And Hurtling, an opportunity to help his own cause as he comes to the plate with runners at first and second, one away. Hurtling hitting 250, but he does uh, he is the leading RBI producer on the squad. This one hit hard to center. It's going to fall before Scheller can get there. Everybody had to hold up, so no chance for Poser to try and score, but now base is loaded with only one out. First hit of the ball game for the Tornado. Yeah, an early jam here for Jaden Kopp is a nice piece of hitting there by Hurtling. And as you mentioned, helping his causes, that base hits and loads the bases with just that one out. First pitch swinging again, a single to the right field corner. Poser scores easily. Check will come in as well. And that is an RBI double on the first pitch for Evan Frecky. Well, they're jumping, they're jumping on Copper here early. Still just the one away, a couple of runs coming across is another nice base hit to right field. And there were, those were both on the first pitch. And now two runners in scoring position, still only one out, and Mason Hosheisel comes to the plate. Little breaking pitch in for a strike. Jackson Prabancha is the courtesy runner at third base. Big swinging strike two. And Kappa ahead in the count. The strikeout would be huge. Oh, it would be huge to get that second out. Just going to miss there. Corners are at regular depth, even with the bases. This one hit high and long down foul territory. Long run oh. coming up empty for Sammy Lee, but. That was a great try. It was. It's a long way to run. Might have been better to let it fall anyhow. Right, but you make the catch and you, you make, might, you catch. make uh, sports night intro. <laughs> I mean, it you wasn't might. that far from making that catch. No, that definitely would have been a run. Oh, right. But Hoheisel stays in at a 1-2 count. Up and in, ball two. I was going to say, I, I'm a little surprised they don't have the corners in to try and right. stop the run at the plate. Two already across, but still very early in this ball game. Nice that's pitch. a good-looking pitch right there. Froze Hoheisel, and that's the second strikeout of the inning for Jaden Cop. Yeah, it's been a little bit up and down for Cop here early, and if he can just hold the tornadoes to the two runs, he will be pleased. Well, maybe not pleased, but at least well, relieved. Well, well, yeah, but pleased the Logan fact that he Young didn't give up. <laughs> steps in, looks at a fastball for a strike one. And when he's got ahead in the count, he has done well. Jungling's hitting 400 on the season. Behind on the fastball, 0-2. It's not bad out of your number seven hitter. No, nope. I'd, I'd say. Well, there and this uh, Noka squad coming off a 20 to one win over Cambridge. They hit the ball that night. This one skied behind short, 
Ness back on it, makes the catch. And the inning is over with a couple of runners left stranded in scoring position, but two runs on two hits. There were no errors, two left. It's an Oka two, couldn't wrap at zero after half an inning on CTN. All right, now we take a look. Our opponents are on this side, and the Cardinals are over here. Where's the line of scrimmage? Uh, right here. Good. So obviously the Cards want to get the ball downfield anywhere over here, and the other guys are pushing back this way over here. So one strategy would take... Hey, Joe! What? Tic-tac-toe, I win! <sighs> Rezzle. <laughs> Back at the ballpark, Cardinals trailing after half an inning. Sammy Lee, the left fielder, will lead things off here in the bottom half of the first, hoping to help his team respond. Logan Ness, the shortstop, starts out on deck with Jaden Kopp, the pitcher hitting third, Zach Novak in the cleanup spot. Center fielder Danny Scheller is hitting five with the right fielder Tyler Donnell right behind him. Price Karen, Mason Myrie, and Caden Elfin round out the order for Coach Mossy this afternoon. Thank Given you. some new guys as we talked about, yes. a little more uh, opportunity late in the season to see what might spark this Cardinal offense. Always good to see that. Lewis Hurtling pitching for Anoka comes in with a 2-1 record. It has a save on the season, but a .93 earned run average. 25 strikeouts and 22 and a two thirds of an innings in an inning. So uh, a good pitcher on the mound that, that these struggling hitters are going to face. Well, and you mentioned they they scored 20 runs their last time out against Cambridge. I Sandy did Anoka, but that is not typical. No, um, a lot of games that they've won two to nothing, three to two. Um, you know, lower scores, one run, close ball games. Sammy Lee hitting 231 as he steps to the plate. Hurtling just coming up with the heat and getting ahead in the count 0-2. Well, he's definitely a strikeout pitcher, so he's looking to get this one here to start. Cardinals batting 230 as a team. You talked about the struggles at, at the plate for Coon Rapids. Off-speed pitch, caught him at the knees. A three-pitch strikeout to start the inning for Lewis Hurtling. Right down the pipe, just took a little something off it after two fastballs to get ahead. And now Logan Ness. First pitch is a fastball, belt high, but just outside. Ness hitting a buck 33 on the season. That one right down the middle to even things up. Stays with the off-speed pitch, but just inside, two and one. Yeah, he's trying to work that inside corner. And now missing down and away with the fastball, three and one. Up and in, ball four. Oh, they earned that walk. So after a strikeout on three pitches to start, a walk on five to the second man he faces. Oh, 
So it looks like the uh, tor tornadoes in the field made a, a change. Uh, Jackson Provanka is uh, behind the plate, number eight for Anoka. We just saw him as a as a courtesy yep. runner in the top half of the inning. Now Jaden Cop, an opportunity to help his own cause, a runner on, nobody or one away. Heading the count 2-0 in this one. Chop foul. Cop hitting 268 he hits heads to the plate. No, I think you know. Jane's maybe a better hitter than his average would indicate. He's one of those Cardinals that uh, would love to see that average go north, but 268 above that 230 team average. In my conversation with Coach Bright before the game, uh, he was saying, you know, we got way too much talent for a, for a four-win clean right. team. Right, absolutely. We're way better than that. Fortunately, everyone makes the playoffs. And um, we should give a huge shout-out to, to Ma Bright, who tunes in and watches yes, every game. absolutely. And we are happy to have her. Fastball up high, 3-1 and one now to Jaden Cobb. She's a big fan of you. Well, who isn't? <laughs> so, but, but Ma Bright, big fan of Joe Yen. Down and away, ball four, so a strikeout, followed by two walks, two on with one away, and Zach Novak coming to the plate. They have an error on the board for the Cardinals. I'm not sure where they ruled the error unless it, the Freckings double to... Uh, Right field being mishandled, and maybe he should have been held to a single. I don't know. I thought that one was pretty well I, I, I thought so as well. Man, Mark Mander is going to be the courtesy runner for Cop over at first. And uh, Hurtling has just doubled his uh, base on balls for the season. Only had two coming into the game, already two here this afternoon. Off speed pitch right in the middle, strike one. Novak hitting 326 as he steps to the plate. One of the better, uh, the Cardinal hitters, he and Jared Fearing leading the club in average. Up and in, one and one. Timed it up that time, just but just a little bit late as he caught that break, put the bat on it, but well foul. Yeah, he straightens that out. It goes down to the right, right field line for a base hit and most likely scores two. I'm sorry, scores one. There's a runner at second, I don't think. That curveball misses outside, two and two. Well, Mandrews is fast. Yeah, but no, nah, I don't know but he's that fast. Depends on exactly where it rolls to in the corner in right field. This is true as well. Fastball, he got a piece of it, and then he got a lot of the umpire. Umpires are tough. They're tough. He shakes it off. That one pretty much clean to the mask. Oh yeah, he, he took it right off the mask. And everybody at the ballpark is fine with taking a couple of extra yep. moments between that and the next pitch. Cardinals trying to answer after Anoka scored two in the top half of the first inning. The Cardinals have two on, one out, a two-two count to their cleanup hitter, Zach Novak. Oh, 
I think he got it. Oh, oh, that was close. Ness I was thought he very, very close. Hubner thought he got him. Yeah. That was a really good move on the mound by <laughs> Lewis Hurtling. Yes, it was. Ness was very fortunate he didn't get caught off. Ooh, I think he may have just got his hand in there. Okay. 2 2 pitch spins down and away, full count. And Hurtling in danger of surrendering his third straight walk to load the bases after starting the inning with a three pitch strikeout. Both runners go. This one skied back and out of play. Novak, you mentioned uh, his batting average. He started out really hot. He's been on a little bit lower level the last couple of games, and I know this would be a good time to break out. This one skied behind third in foul territory, and it will be grabbed by Hubner as he reaches back toward the foul line. And nice defensive play by the shortstop as he's able to. He ran past it a little bit, but able to reach back and make the grab. You're going to see him there as he just over the shoulder a bit. And a big second out for the Tornadoes with runners at first and second. And now Danny Scheller. Gets a lot of movement on that pitch. Misses inside, 1-0. Oh. Fires a fastball past a swinging Scheller to even it up, 1-1. One one. Scheller, another one of the Cardinals looking to get their his average up 147 as he steps to the plate. This one fouled back and out of play. That's good work. Keep that chin there and work the other way here. Ball. Runners go, Scheller follows it to the backstop. Heading the count, a good opportunity for him here to just to get out of this inning without any damage. Stay short, too, here. At the same time, the Cardinals will swing away from Absolutely. evening this one up. Love to see it. Try to pick off Ness back at second base again. This time he's back in plenty of time. Logan getting that dirt, that uniform dirty here early on. Foul back and out of play again. Able to blow a fastball past him for strike three. Second strike out of the inning, a couple of walks, but both runners left on. Anoka 2 0 lead as we head to the second on CTF.
Want to know the who, what, when, and where of Coon Rapids? Then follow CTN on social media. It's that simple. Whether it's Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, keep up with local news, sports, and events. And the people who make our community such a great place to live. So give us a follow, like, share, or subscribe, and always be the first to know what's up in Coon Rapids. That's CTN, helping you stay connected. Howie, do you know why fish are so bad at volleyball? Because they're afraid of the net. Why me? Why couldn't the volleyball player cross the road? There were too many bumps. <laughs> uh. Why was Cinderella kicked off the team? Because she ran away from the ball. I hate you. Nice crowd. Very good crowd for a Thursday afternoon. And not the beautiful sunny weather we had for the softball game earlier this week. No. A couple of days ago, but. Hey, I wasn't sure we'd get this. Wasn't sure what the weather was going to be, if we were going to get this one in. They were talking rain, and then they said just the morning. And it really kind of held a few off sprinkles, for the most part. Held a, had a few sprinkles in the area this morning, but. Nothing to threaten today's contest. And Jaden Kopp hoping to have a little bit better second inning. A struggle finding the zone early, a couple of walks. Both both guys he walks, walked ended up scoring, gave up a couple of hits. Fastball misses inside. One and one to the shortstop, Freddie Hubner. Hubner batting 300 as he steps to the plate. But yeah, you on your comment, he would definitely like to have a little more efficient inning than he did in the first. And, and we talked about it, he doesn't have a lot of experience on the mound this season. Catches the outside edge with an off-speed pitch, one and two. Oh, it's pretty. Did, oh, I thought he called the strike. I thought he dropped out. Oh, did it hit him? No, it hit him. I was going to say, there's no way that was in the zone. I know. I, I, thought he, I thought he called a strike. No, they only raise one arm when it's Yeah, a I know. I, <laughs> let's see where it hit him. Right in the elbow. Got him on the elbow. And now the number nine hitter, Sawyer Chell. Shows bunt, takes a strike. Hubner stays at first. Check on Hubner. He's back safely at first. Well, you put that leadoff runner on, and you talked about it. The, uh, he hopes to have a more efficient inning, but certainly does not want to lead to any additional runs here down 2 nothing. Fastball misses high, 1-1. One and one. Bunt well foul from Chell, and it's one and two. Fastball misses inside, two and two. Then out of play. But it stays in the school district property. It, it, it definitely does. <laughs> Runner goes, pitches inside. Kieran mishandled it, but I don't know that he'd have had much chance. No. Good jump by Hubner. Yeah. 
more importantly, a full count to the batter. That's uh, Huebner's fifth stolen base on the season. So a full count to Sawyer's Chell. Fouled off and out of play. Chell doing a nice job protecting the plate. Another two strike foul for Chell. This will be the ninth pitch of the at bat. Misses inside, ball four. Chell did a nice job of working the pitch count there. Able to earn the walk. So now runners at first and second, nobody out. And back to the top of the order for Sam Poser. Poser walked and scored first inning. Now with two on, nobody out. Shows bunt, pitches in the dirt, skips away from Karen. Everybody moving up 90 feet on the wild pitch. Now we're going to see uh, head coach Matt Mossy take a walk out to the mound here early in this ball game. We talked about Dylan Kopp with not a lot of varsity experience from on the hill. And I think Coach Mossy just going to go talk to him, calm him down a little bit, maybe talk to him about some of the things that he sees in his, in his uh, throws. Poser had gone down to talk to head coach Shannon Blanchett. Fastball in for a strike, evens the count at one and one. Runners at second and third. Nobody out here in the top of the second inning, and that's a balk. Yep. That hurts. Ah. This has definitely not been the inning that Cop wanted. This one stroked into right. It'll fall. In front of Donnell, the run from third. Sawyer Chell will score easily. An RBI single for Poser and a 4 0 lead for, uh, for Anoka. Yeah, and still nobody out. So they put, uh, they put up two runs in the first and now two more runs here in the second. But a hit by pitch. There was a wild pitch, a balk, a walk, and now an RBI single. Pitch misses outside to Reagan Reeder. Reeder struck out in the first. One of two strikeouts that Cap was able to get in that inning. That's a good pitch yeah, right there. Evens the count at one and one. Fastball in for a strike, and Kappa ahead in the count. I think Kappa needs a hat that's maybe a little size smaller because it keeps coming off his head every, almost every time he throws. Especially when he throws that fastball. It's 
Sammy Lee had to clear an errant ball from the JV field. That was in foul territory. Now back to live action, a one-two count to Reagan Reeder. Out in front of that, but able to stay alive at one and two. Pop this one back and out of play. Another pitch in the dirt, good stop by Kieran, but Poser was already on the move and easily over to second base. Yeah, there wasn't going to be much they could do about that. But you talked earlier about, you know, not a lot of huge run production for Anoka, that 20 to one win. They've had a couple of, of uh, wins this season where they've scored 10. This one, sky and foul and will get out of play as well. Rieger keeping this at bat going. Get an opportunity at another 2 2 pitch. Curveball finally gets him swinging and a strikeout for Cop, his third of the day. Yeah, big one, because they needed that first out. Took eight pitches, yeah. but he gets Frecking to chase one up out of the zone. And now Will Check also walked and scored in the first. Fastball catches the outside edge, 0-1. Yeah, it's all about trying to get out of a jam for Jaden Kopp. ball hit foul and out of play. Cop of the driver's seat at 0 2. Runner at second base, still only one out, two across here in the inning. And a called strike, bottom part of the zone. Check hung his head in disbelief and trots back to the dugout. Some comments from our well, let's see, it's, it's the it's, Anoka faithful <laughs> behind us. Uh, it was uh, it was definitely, as you said, bottom part of the zone. Back to back strikeouts, but first pitch swinging again for Hurtling. He has his second hit of the day, rounding and coming home to score is Poser. Hurtling two for two with an RBI. And it's a 5-0 lead. That was a nice piece of hitting there as he turned on that pitch and found the green. So there's no way that's Provencha. Do we have two number eights on this team? Because now they, he's the courtesy runner for Hurtling again. It did definitely look like number eight was well, behind the plate. Because well, originally we had number two behind the plate, but that's not the case. We'll have to... We'll have to. We'll have to look when we. Uh... It'll bring up Evan Frecking. He had a two run double first time up. Runner at first with two out, two across in the inning. Talk about a fishing efficient hurtling two for two on two pitches. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. 
How did you put number two in as number nine? I don't know if I got that. That I got that, or did I just put it in as because that's the because number. That's, that's the, the number catcher of the spot. I, I was doing this in a real hurry today, and I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> it was a busy day at work, and I had to. I had to get this. So it is Luke Duchesne. It is Luke Duchesne. The play, so we, okay. well, at least we're just still in the second inning. We figured it out. Called the strike. The throw is in time, and the runner is out trying to steal. That we know is Provencia. Yeah. Caught stealing to end the inning, but three across for Anoka on two hits, or one hit. Nobody left. It's 4 nothing after an inning and a half on CTN. Well, the Cardinals in a big hole, and we've talked about the offenses struggled, to say the least. Even in their wins, they, four wins, they've averaged a little better than five runs a game in those four wins. But here you are, you need five wins just, or five runs just to tie. Tyler Donnell. Leading off, first pitch swinging, a little soft pop up to short, easy play for Freddie Hubner. One pitch, one out. Yeah, that's uh, starting your bottom half of the inning out quickly. That'll bring up the catcher, Price Karen. Hurtling did have a couple of walks. Certainly threw more pitches than he would have liked in that first inning. So but getting a, a one pitch out to start here in the second is definitely nice. And we talked about how he's done offensively yep. quite well. Fastball blown past Karen up high, one and one. So Karen only with one plate appearance so far this season, looking for his first hit. Off-speed pitch, got Karen out in front of it, one and two. Hurtling has used the changeup quite a bit. Gets a lot of movement on it, there it is again. Induces a slow roller to Ho Heisel who scoops and tags for out number two. And that'll bring up first baseman, Mason Myrie. Myrie hitting 174 on the season. Gets fastball pitch one, follows it to the backstop. We're in the back. So now both pitchers have a hit batter in their scorecard today. And that'll bring up the number nine hitter, Caden Alfin. Runner at first, two out. Alfin takes a pitch in high. 
Alfred hitting an even 100. Looks at that one for strike one. Evens the count. Chops this one in front of third. Reader scoops, throws. Good stretch by Hoheisel for out number three. A very quick bottom half of the second. Anoka right back at the plate, leading 5 nothing after two innings on CTF. a player will jump an average of 300 times per game of volleyball? Wow. And I think jumping up to go to the fridge is hard. The fastest volleyball serve was over 83 miles per hour. Yikes. If that serve were coming at me, they could have the point. I like my hands. They're dainty. Huh? As you know, CTN's on YouTube, and we're on in a big way. We have thousands of videos online to help you stay connected to Coon Rapids on any device, at home, or on the go. And it's because of your faithful viewership that we can celebrate 10,000 subscribers to the CTN YouTube page. Thank you for your support as we continue to keep you connected. A pooch. Four-legged friends welcome as long as they behave themselves and enjoy the ballpark as much as everyone else. New pitcher for the Cardinals as Danny Scheller will come on. So uh, Danell is going to move over to center as uh, he'll take Scheller's spot, and Cop will go over into right. That is how you have it defensively. Okay. Evan Frecking was at the plate when uh, Provencia was thrown out trying to steal second. So he will dig in with a fresh... 0-0 oh oh count, first to see Danny Scheller, and he sees a fastball for strike one. Scheller comes in with an 0-1-1 oh record, a 6.3 earned run average, a couple of strikeouts on the season. One-two pitch, and he got him to commit on a curveball for strike three. Nice way to enter the ball game yes. in relief for Danny Scheller. Well, I'm not sure what uh, Coach Mossy thought and how long he was going to keep Cop out there, but I know he wanted to uh, think he wanted a few more than two innings out of him, but nonetheless. Uh, 56 pitches that's a, well, that's a two lot, That's a lot of pitches. It's, I know. It was a rough go. Holheisel. Looks at a strike that apparently caught the outside edge. Off speed pitch, gets him swinging 0 and 1, or 0 and 2. I'll figure this game out sooner or later. Eventually. Let's we'll just keep going. We'll keep going until we get it right. This could be a long time. That pitch way up high, all the way to the backstop. Easy take for Ho Heisel with two strikes. Scheller back-to-back -back strikeouts to start his relief appearance. Yeah, pretty nice way to start when you're coming in here and 
you're down five nothing. You know, certainly do not want to give up any more runs at this point. And Danny Shelley doing a good job of coming to the mound, coming to the mound and getting a couple of strikeouts for the first two outs of this inning. Logan jungling the DH. Looks at a change up strike one. And the fastball makes it 0 2. Another fastball, this one fouled out of play. Jungling lives to see another pitch. Back-to-back -back strikeouts on four pitches each. This is the fourth pitch to Jungling, just saying. This one chopped foul, we'll try pitch number five. Fastball blown past him. Three straight strikeouts for Danny Scheller. Comes on in relief, strikes out the side. Cardinals back at the dish, trailing 5 0 as we head to the bottom of the third on CTF. Joe, in high school football, the snap ends when A, the ball is moved from its place in the ground, B, the ball leaves the snapper's hands, or C, the ball touches the ground or any other player. You don't have to raise your hand, Joe. <sighs> yes, Joe? I love football. Ah, yikes. Fans down both sidelines, getting a good view of a game that so far has been dominated by the Anoka Tornadoes. And we'll see another change in the lineup for the Cardinals. Jared Fearing will dig in. Fearing, the leading hitter on this ball club as he steps to the plate, batting 378. This one sky to center. Chell strolls in, waits for it, and makes the catch for out number one. Yeah, it didn't have to move too far. He's got a lazy high fly ball. Logan Ness, walk his first time up. Can't catch up with fastball from Hurtling, 0-1. There's that changeup. That's that a pretty pitch. Looks like it's coming up and into yep. the right-handed hitter and then falls right over in the zone. 0-2, oh goes back to it, gets Neff swinging for strike three. Third strike out of the ball game for Hurtling. Yeah, a couple of uh, a couple of quick outs here for an oak in the field. Well, pitch. after throwing 27 pitches in the first, he got through the Cardinals in order in just 10 pitches in the second. 
And now he's got two outs on just five pitches so far here in the third. Again, goes back to that changeup, misses down and away to Jaden Kopp. Kopp also a walk his first time up. Yeah. Couldn't hold up. Could not hold up. Called the strike by our home plate umpire. No need to check with the base ump. Goes back to that change. I don't know if it's a change or a curve. It doesn't have a huge break to it, but it's got enough. And then back to the fastball called strike three. Back to back strikeouts in another one, two, three inning. We go to the fourth. Anoka five, Coon Rapids zero on CTA. know you can raise backyard chickens, but a permit is required, and there's a limit of four female chickens per property. No roosters or other fowl are allowed, and there are specific rules for the chicken coop and run. For more information on this and other city codes, log on to CoonRapidsMN.gov. Today we're on soccer, Joe. So my goal is to kick around some topics with you, but I don't want to foul things up by being too forward. Please stop that. <laughs> so could you assist me? Stop. Maybe pass some ideas How? so we can tackle this together? Howie? Oh boy. I'm just saying, this really isn't my field. Unbelievable. Blankets out. Yeah, it's a little chilly, a little windy. But we're playing ball. Yes, we are. That's the that's the important thing. Anoka Tornadoes with two runs in the first, three more in the second. Enjoying a 5-0 lead. Eight and nine hitters start off this fourth inning. That's the same place as that started the second inning. Freddie Hubner was hit by a pitch and later scored. And then Sawyer Chell, the number nine hitter, walked and scored in that inning. Three run inning for the Tornadoes. Danny Scheller struck out the side when he came on in the third. First pitch hit well to right, but Cop well positioned. Just a few steps to his left for out number one. Yeah, he didn't have to go too far. And, and a, again, a quick first out of the inning. <laughs> Fastball called the strike for Schellers. Sawyer Chell, as I mentioned, walked and scored first time up. Had quite a battle at the plate. This one fired high and wide and all the way to the backstop. Yeah, that one didn't hit the mark. Not the one where he wanted it. Well, not a problem when there's nobody on base. Yeah, absolutely. One and one pitch. Takes something off. This one rolled right back up the middle, scooped up by Ness, but he's not able to make a play. I think for that ball was hit to the to the up the middle and would have been a tough play even if he'd been able to make the throw. Yeah, I think he just put it in his pocket because yeah. by the time well, he, thought he about got it. to it, yeah. he knew there was no chance to get the runner and rather than risk the errant throw, he'll just put it in his pocket. He had to go a long way. He yes, fielded he that on the second base side of, yep. or on the first base side of second. Yep. So an infield single single for player Cal. Easy for me to say. <laughs> Here, I'll get some oil for you. There you go. Is that better? <laughs> Sam, Sam Poser, as you see, he's got a single, an RBI. He scored a couple of runs. This one skied and will get out of play. He has scored it both times. 
has a stolen base in there as well. Chawla very conservative lead at first. Off speed pitch just misses inside to even the count at one and one to Sam Poser. Yeah, this is one of the best attended ball games yeah. that I have been to in a while. Called strike. And uh, Karen had a little trouble getting the ball out of his glove, and it'll be a stolen base for Sawyer Chell. Yeah, he had a double clutch. Two and two. Curveball misses outside, full count. Misses just low, and that's ball four. So after a one pitch out to start, a single and a walk. And the Tornadoes meet of the order coming up. Megan Reeder, an opportunity for him to see if he can get the Tornadoes on the board again here in top of the fourth. Well, Reeder, Cop, uh, Cop struggled against uh, much of the Anoka order, but Reeder struggled against Cop. Yeah. Two strikeouts in his two appearances. Lead runner is going. Karen's throw is to the foul side of the base and sliding in safely is Chell. Poser easily moves over to second at the same time. Well, now it's just one out. Cardinal's in, in danger of base hit to the outfield here. Should score two. One and one count, and Scheller steps off. Double checking the, the count, and now they're going to say it is 2 and 0. Oh. On the throw down, it did appear that the home plate umpire had signaled a strike. I didn't think it was a strike, but now it's 3-0 and to Reagan Reeder. Yeah, now you're a pitch away from loading the bases with just one out. Inside, ball four, and they're all loaded up for Will Check. And that means that Lewis Hurtling, the Anoka pitcher, is right. on deck and will come to the plate most likely with an opportunity to pad his his uh, stats and his lead at yes. the same time. And we talked about he's had a nice afternoon on the hill and at the plate. Two for two with an RBI. Will check, walked and scored in the first. Punched out in the second inning. First offering is up and in, 1-0. Oh. Inside again, 2-0. Oh. So after striking out the side, in his first inning of relief, a rough go so far here in inning number two for Danny Scheller. Base is loaded, one out, a 2-0 pitch. Misses low, 3-0. Hey, yeah, you certainly do not want to walk in the run here in this situation. Already trailing 5-0.
And that is ball four up high. Back to batch, back four pitch walks. And this one will bring in run number six of the game for Anoka. And again, hurtling at the plate. The base is juiced. Is two for two with an RBI. First pitch, finds the gap on the left side. He's got his third base knock of the ball game. He's seen three pitches. He's hit all three. That's, that's incredible. Two RBI. Yeah, that's, that's pretty incredible. And he hit it past Novak, who was drawn in. Cardinals trying to cut down the every run now yes. is a, even more of a concern than it was in that first inning when we had spoken about it. Evan Frecking now, a two-run double back in the first. Struck out, leading off the last inning. This one popped up and out of play. And Shapiro, that I expect you to put a little more effort in. <laughs> I, well, you know, it's been, it's been one of those days. I didn't sleep well last night, it was a busy day. Tough day of work. Tough day of work. Fastball down and in, one and one. And way up high, two and one. Tornado is able to put up crooked numbers now in three of the first four innings. Building that seven run lead and they have three more on. Oh, nice That's pitch. That's a great looking pitch Very there for Danny Scheller. Yeah, Maybe he needs, freaked fracking out a bit. <laughs> he needs an out here. It's one of my favorite fracking names fracking, of all time. Fracking. Goes back to that uh, speed pitch and then sails the throw home. It was set up for a 1-2-3 double play to end the inning. Instead, an E1 is going to allow two runs to score. And yeah. it's a 9 nothing lead. Yeah, that's just, uh, you know, he knows uh, he knows that was just a miscue on his behalf because he didn't really have to rush the throw. He had just a solid throw would have had him at the plate. So Coach Bossy is going to come out and have a chat. And it's sometimes the easy plays that are the hardest to make, as you see Frecking legging it out down the line, not aware of what was happening behind him. Heads up base running allowed Will Check to score from second on the errant throw. And Provancho has been busy as a courtesy runner, went first to third on that error. You know, nine runs on six hits for Anoka. Eighth batter of this inning, runners at the corners, one out for Mason Holheisel. The first base minder has also been a strikeout victim both times he has come to the plate. That pitch down in the dirt, good stop by Price Karen. Yeah, I did a really nice job of just uh, pushing his body in front of that baseball, making sure it stayed there. Keep it in front of you. Yep. A lot of foul territory back here and speedy runner in Provencia at second, or at third. This one grounded on the right side, bobbled by Myrie. Run comes home. Everybody's safe. Back-to-back -back errors. Costly for the Cardinals. Costly. They now trail by 10. Yeah, absolutely. They could have been out of this inning. And now Logan Jungling, ninth hitter of the inning for Anoka. First pitch sails on... Scheller. Price Karen did a great job of just getting that to his mitt. That looked like it was going to sail past him. 
and your base runners move up. Here's a good fastball yes. right down the pipe, challenging Jungling and swings and comes up empty one and one. Five runs in the inning for Anoka. Off speed pitch called for a strike. One and two. Fastball blown by, past him for strike three. Boy, do they need that second out here. They, need, they have to stop the bleeding. And now Freddie Hubner, who started this inning by hitting the first pitch of the inning into right field for an out. He's getting a do-over. Since then, a couple of hits, three walks, a couple of errors, five runs. And that one is through the wickets on Karen. Both runners advance 90 feet on the wild pitch. Yeah, this is a, a, a tough top of the fourth for Coon Rapids. Ken just looking to get out of it without any more damage. Already down 10 nothing. Up and in, maybe spooked Hubner a little bit. That had some had some velocity it on did. it. Curveball called the strike, two and one. Catches the outside edge, two and two. Well, Scheller needs it here. Curveball hit back up the middle. Oh. Backhanded stick by Scheller. Wow. And the throw over. And it was an ugly inning. <laughs> But, but what a beautiful way to end it. That, that'll make the intro to sports night. I guarantee it. Impressive backhanded stick on the hill for Danny Scheller. But Anoka scores five, and they lead 10-0 as we go to the bottom half of the fourth on CTN. Code prohibits outdoor storage of things like building materials, auto parts, household items, scrap metal, garbage, and more. Thank you for helping our city look its best. For more information on this and other city codes, log on to coonrabbitsmn.gov. Fourth inning stretch at the ballpark. And it has been all tornadoes so far. Lewis Hurtling has been very tough on the hill. He's given up a couple of walks. He hit a batter. But uh, so far, no hits. A lot of hits on the other side. Well, actually, a lot of runs. Ten runs on six hits for the Anoka Tornadoes. The Cardinals have committed a couple of errors, but a handful of walks. And... Uh, Five run fourth inning for Anoka really opened it up. A couple of errors where they, they had the opportunity to end the inning. Yep. Unfortunately, could not get it done because of the errors. Look at where that was. Let's see. So I think they had two runs across already, but two runs scored on, on an error that could have easily ended the inning. It 
was looked like a tailor-made one, two, three double play, which happens to be one of my favorite double plays. That and the strikeout throwout double play. That's I we, like the strikeout throwout double which play. Which we saw last time yep. against Mayo. Hurtling able to slip the changeup in for a strike, two and one to Zach Novak. Novak a pop up to shortstop, first time up. And Hurtling back to even in the count, two and two. Spins that one down and away, and the count is full. Needed just 10 pitches in the second inning and nine in the third. This one skied in foul territory and out of play. and Almost hit our... Uh, I was going to say ducking man. cover on top of the <laughs> CTN van. Almost. Ho Heisel gave a good yeah, effort. There he is. Good job by our phenomenal crew here. They make us Here's look good. Yep. Or better. Oh, yeah. This one hit high to short right center, and Chell an able to make the catch. It was an adventure for sure. Looked like it might just find the gap right between all three of them. I thought it was at first. Looks like both Chell and Frecking in position to make a play on it. And now Danny Scheller struck out in his first at bat back in the first inning. Now with one out, nobody on. High fly to center, waiting and waiting on it is Chell and finally able to squeeze it for out number two. My shoe. Got to tie that shoe. We got to make sure it's tied. Didn't need shoes for that last he did one. Not. The first one. He did for sure. Yeah, no, it may have come un untied in that long run to make that first out of this inning. Tyler Donnell pop up to short, first time up. Underneath the fastball, one one. Fastball called for a strike, 0 oh 2. And after a seven pitch at bat to Novak, Hurtling able to get a one pitch out and now ahead in the count, 0 oh 2. And now inside to Donnell, 1 and 2. On Hurtling again, trying to make a quick inning of it. Great break on that one. Completely fooled Tyler Donnell. That's his fifth strike out of the ball game. And it's 10-0 as we head to the fifth on CTN. Did you know properties are required to have garbage and recycling service with a licensed hauler? On collection day, place your carts two feet behind the curb. Collection containers should not be placed in the street. And don't forget, containers are not allowed at the curb on non-collection days. For more information on this and other city codes, log on to CoonRapidsMN.gov. So, Howie. Did you know the term soccer actually came from England? Uh, but don't the English call soccer football like pretty much everyone else? Yeah, but only after we started saying soccer and the world was mocking us for it. So you're saying the UK set us up? Yep, sabotage. Ah, oh, Brits. Back at the ballpark, Anoka fans have had plenty to cheer about yes, this have. afternoon. Their team on the correct end of a 10 nothing score. Nice 
They had five runs on two hits, two errors in that fourth. So, Scheller would like to get back to his third inning form rather than the fourth yes, inning form, absolutely. if at all possible. Sawyer Chell will lead things off from the number nine spot. Well, what he would like is a quick inning so his squad can get back to the plate. Chell is one for one, a single a walk, two runs scored, a couple of stolen bases in there as well. Two fastballs missing high for Scheller, and it's 2-0 to Chell. And now down low, 3-0. He had an amazing play. One of the, one of the best plays. I mean, you can't draw it up. Oh. The defensive stick, oh. that was fantastic. That was amazing. And I, he wasn't even looking at it. Well, and he didn't even get excited about no, it. No, he just was not a lot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it happens every I, day. It's, it's, what it's what I, I do. do. Yeah. <laughs> it's what I do. I'm playing ball. He just wanted to get out of the inning, but a beautiful backhanded stab. Yeah, that was fun. But he walks the leadoff man, Chell, and back to the top of the order go the Tornadoes. And we'll have a new batter. Zach Abrahamson. He's hitting 167 on the season. Catches the top of the zone with that pitch to even the count, one and one. Slips that one by him, and Scheller gets ahead in the count, one and two. Curveball in for a called third strike. Scheller frozen with a nice looking bender. It's the fifth strikeout of the outing for Danny Scheller. Yeah, it was, that was, uh, again, he needed that. It's that first out of the inning. One out, one on now for Reagan Reeder. Reeder, a little half swing foul out of play. Reeder able to walk and score. I didn't say that fast six times. I'm having trouble saying anything today, apparently. Curveball grounded through the right side of the infield, a single for Reagan Reeder. Sawyer Chell moves over to second base. Now the Tornadoes have a some, little something cooking here with one away in the top half of the fifth. Already up 10-0. That'll bring up Will Check. The left fielder has walked and scored twice. Had a strikeout in the middle. I wonder if he was a hockey player. Great, great hockey name. I'll have to check on that. Oh, you do so. <laughs> and then if you're, you're right, I'll send you a check. First pitch, pop back out of play. Tornadoes know they're in a spot where Coon Rapids needs to score at least one to extend the game beyond this inning, but they'd like to put some more insurance on the board if they can. Check holds off of that one, but a called strike. 0 oh, and 2. Okay. 
And now missing down and in. Another one down and in. Good stop by Karen. Well, as you mentioned, uh, you know, Price Karen doesn't get a lot of time behind the plate with Jaden Kopp usually in the lineup behind the dish for Coon Rapids. He's made a couple of nice stops. Curveball down in the dirt. Both runners are going to advance. Shell got a great break from second base and pitch being in the dirt, there was no chance for Karen nope. to dig it out. Reader just follows his lead and heads over to second. Infield in for the Cardinals, a 3-2 pitch is a called third strike. Wow. Big strikeout. Check thought he was headed to first to load him up. Instead, he's heading back to the dugout with his second strikeout of the afternoon. And now this is, this <laughs> next pitch is what it's all about, it is. right? It is. Four, four base hits on four pitches, is that what you're looking at? I, that's what I'm wondering. Lewis Hurtling is three for three on three pitches. He's got two RBI. And you're not going to swing no, at that. No, you're so. definitely not going to. So there it goes. There goes the theory. You had that letter to Ripley's Believe It or Not already written out. <laughs> Does Ripley's Believe It or Not still I, I have exist? no clue. <laughs> Kids are going, what? what what's that? that? Ah, Jack Palance. <laughs> Great. It, it, he and uh, James Earl Jones. Yeah. I suppose you put, put Logan or uh, Freeman in there as well. Yeah. Morgan Freeman. Greatest voiceover actors. But Jack Palance was like the original. He was before those others. Believe it or not. Or not. 3 and 0 oh now the count to Lewis Hurtling. This one grounded foul. I was going to say, maybe, you know, it's three hits on three pitches and then a walk on four, but that wasn't, that wasn't to meant either. to be. Hurtling has had a day here on both sides. Could add to it here, a 3-1 pitch, hit back up the middle and through his fourth hit of the game. In comes his third RBI, and Reeder is going to score with his fourth RBI of the game. So nice day for your pitcher to go four for four with four RBI. Yeah, that adds a couple more runs now. That, that uh, builds that lead up to 12-0 which makes it a very difficult bottom half of the fifth for Coon Rapids when they get to the plate. Yes, now they will need at least three. And we now will see Jackson Provancha picking up a bat and getting into the lineup. We knew it was going to happen eventually. Well, so who's the courtesy runner? I, I just there, expected there that one. he was at first. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there That's is. That's not actually. hurtling no. at first. I saw the one. I didn't see the seven. That's uh, Braden Cherry. Of course, of course it, is. it is. Who else would it be? <laughs> yeah, well, it could have been one of two guys. So. Provancha steps in with a runner at first, two away. First pitch is a fastball for a strike, 0 and 1. This one grounded to third. Novak on a couple of hops, takes his time, gets it over to Donnell for, or to Myrie rather, for out number three. But two more runs for Anoka on one more, two more hits. And they lead 12 0 going to the bottom of the fifth on CTA. Did you know Coon Rapids has a city code regulating the height of your grass? Grass and weeds must be kept under eight inches high. Thank you for helping our city look its best. For more information on this and other city codes, 
Log on to CoonRapidsMN.gov. Okay, I have a couple good ones for you, Joe. How do football players stay cool? By standing next to the fans. <laughs> what kind of tea do football players drink? Penalty. Why can't you play football with pigs? Because they hog the ball. Uh. So Lewis Hurtling <laughs> has thrown four innings without surrendering a hit. He has given up two walks and hit a batter. He has retired the last seven he has faced, and he has been incredibly efficient over the last three innings. Meanwhile, at the plate, four for four with four RBI. And a fastball blown past Karen Price, or Price Karen. You're just calling attendance, I know. And then oh, goes boy, back that to that changeup that just drops in. Make it 0-2. Kieran with a ground ball to first base back in the second inning. And a three-pitch strikeout wow. to start the inning for Lewis Hurtling. Lewis Hurtling wants to uh, make this a quick inning and get that quick win for the Tornadoes already up 12-0. And obviously the Cardinals down their last two outs. And their bottom two in the batting order. Mason Myrie was hit by a pitch first time up. Holds off, and that pitch stays just high. One and oh. Fastball misses well high. Two and oh. And that one's in the zone, no doubt, two and one. Hurtling working quickly. Myrie got a piece of that one, but it's two and two. And Deshane's gonna come out and talk to Hurtling. I'm not sure if he saw something. He's going to suggest a pitch, but we'll see what he offers here. Two and two to Mason Myrie with one out here at the bottom of the fifth. Cardinals trailing by 12. Well, that wasn't the pitch. Maybe they were talking about trying to get him to reach for one maybe, above his eyebrows. Maybe. Myrie lays off. Smartly. Full count. Swung on and missed. Back to back strikeouts to start this inning. That's three straight strikeouts for Hurtling. Seven in the ball game. That'll bring up Caden Alphen, a ground ball to third. Back in the second. Cardinals down to their last out. They need three runs just to get to the sixth inning. Called strike on the inside edge, 0-1. This one chopped back up the middle on a couple of hops. Poser over to Hoheisel. And a no-hitter for a Lewis Hurtling. Oh, and by the way, he also went four for four. Went four for four yeah. with four RBI. Definitely the star of the game here this afternoon. And unfortunately, the uh, Cardinals on the wrong end of that 12-0 loss, and that's going to drop them to four and eight and move the Tornadoes to 12 and four on the season. 
Yeah, and back-to-back -back games for the Cardinals where they've given up double digits, yep. and that is That's... always a concern, not only with the pitching, but the defense, a couple of errors back-to-back, -back, and you know, a team that is just not handling adversity well. But uh, that will do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score is Anoka 12, Coon Rapids 0. We want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN. This has been a Millington and Burlingame production, and we certainly <laughs> appreciate that, as well as the direction of oh, Joel Sipper. Joel, 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 wait, look out, he's coming out of the Howard truck. Shapiro and Duck, I. Duck, he's coming after you. <laughs> <laughs> Shapiro and I are just a side note. We are. But that's going to do Always it. We been. appreciate you all. Thank you, and good night.